Hey everyone, Jamal Wilson here with the FAA Surveillance and Broadcast Services Office. We want to take a few minutes today to talk to you about the FAA's ADAPT tool, ADSB Deviation Authorization Preflight Tool. As everyone knows, the ADSB mandate is getting very close, and after January 1st, 2020, all operators operating in rural airspace will have to have ADSB out avionics on their aircraft. For those who are unequipped or have inoperative equipment, the ADAPT tool serves to give you the option to submit an authorization for a one-time deviation on a flight-by-flight -flight basis so that you can access rural airspace. In order to be considered for an authorization deviation, your aircraft should have a Mode C transponder and you should submit request no more than 24 hours prior to your flight, but no less than one hour prior to your flight. Step one is to access the ADAPT website. This will be the screen that you see in order to access the ADAPT website. So you'll agree to the warning and that'll take you to the SAPT. Once there, you'll see that the ADAPT icon, the middle of the screen, is where you're gonna wanna click to get started with your authorization. You'll click Flight Entry Form. In step two, you'll enter your flight details using the Flight Information Entry Form. So now we'll walk through the form. So for aircraft identification, aircraft type, airspeed, and your departure point. In this instance, we're leaving from Atlantic City. When you get to the time block, this is where you have to remember that you want to submit this no more than 24 hours prior to your flight, but no less than one hour to your flight. So your proposed time is going to be very important on whether you get an approval or not. Next, we have the cruising altitude. And when you get to route of flight, you'll have a couple of options. Either you can put in your waypoints or you can use the space bar to give you the direct to option. So in this instance, we'll hit the space bar. The three dots indicate direct to and our destination point will be Nashville. Time and route of two hours. And under the equipage options, we'll choose the situation that is relevant to you. In this instance, we're unequipped. And after inputting that information, we'll check the availability. As you can see here, surveillance is available, as indicated by the yellow dot on the right side of the screen. And that gives you alternative surveillance entirety of your route. So after you see that that's available, on the bottom of the screen is where you click to request a deviation for this flight. For step three, you'll enter your deviation request and the additional details. Now it's going to ask for some personal information, pilot and command, telephone number, and email address. The email address is very important because this is where your approval or denial is going to come to, so you're going to want to make sure that that information is accurate. We'll use generic information in this instance, the reason for the request, and we'll say that we're going into rural airspace to get equipped. Classification, Part 91 in this instance, and your current equipment status, and we'll say unequipped. You'll more than likely have a Mode C transponder, so we'll say yes. And once you certify that everything is true and accurate, you're going to submit your request. In step four, you'll receive your request status. So after you submit your authorization, as you can see here, the authorization request was approved. Before we mentioned that the email address was very important, that is because you're going to receive an email confirmation of this approval to that email address. We also point out that this authorization does not relieve any of your other responsibilities as a pilot in command. You still want to file a flight plan and follow those requirements, and you still want to garner your ATC clearance where required. So this authorization is just for ADSB deviation authorization. Keep an eye out on the FAA's Equip ADSB website for ADAPT website availability information as well as information and frequently asked questions.